Hello, and Will England with the Sprint Product Ambassadors team checking out the Moto Z Force. By specs, this is the fastest phone on the network. It's made by Lenovo for Motorola. It supports 256 channel carrier aggregation, or I'm sorry, uh, 256, uh, what are they called? The, the network modulation, QAM, 256 QAM with three channel carrier aggregation. So 60 megahertz of bandwidth, uh, which basically gives you darn near gigabit ethernet speeds. So today, we are going to unbox this. You'll note it's Moto Mods compatible. We'll take a look at that in just a second. So, it comes in a nice red box with jewels on the casing and so on. Hello, Moto. This is a true unboxing. I've never opened it. As you saw, I took the shrink wrap straight off. We peel it open. Gigantic phone, my goodness. 5.5 um, inch screen. I'd show you it compared to my S8, but I'm filming this on the S8. Uh, 64 gig of storage, 4 gig of RAM, uh, 2700 milliamp ba battery power, dual 12 megapixel cameras, supposedly a shatterproof screen. Uh, we've been asked not to use a case during our demos. Normally we buy Spigen cases or Spigen will provide a demo case for us. Uh, this month we're going to run it without a case and see if we can break them or hopefully not break them would be the goal. So we take the phone out of the box and it's slim and gorgeous and you have a big wart, wart on the back here. You can see if I can get the angles right. There you go. Get the light. You can see the dual cameras protrude uh, significantly from the back of the phone. It's going to be kind of interesting setting that down. There's the Motorola logo, little bat logo, and down here at the bottom are your copper contacts, gold contacts it actually looks like, to attach all of your Moto mods from the Hasselblad uh, camera to battery packs to a projector. They're actually giving retail customers a free projector that can do a claimed 70 inch uh, projection. Up here across the top of the phone we have our front camera, earpiece, and apparently a front, oh, it's hidden by the flash, a front dual LED. Uh, so we have a front flash for selfies. Impressive. Across the bottom you have your fingerprint sensor and your mouthpiece there. It does charge. Get the light right. Well, as you can see, is eventually, there we go, it charges via USB-C, so it's moving along with the times. USB-C, I found, is a much nicer, more sturdy and robust charging solution than that dodgy USB Micro B. On the right side of the phone, you have very solid buttons for volume and power. And I'm taking that off the top of the screen. And it's, there we go. Get the reflection of the buttons there. On the left side of the phone, clean edge. Across the top of the phone, right, if we can get the light to hit it just so. Oh, we're losing the light. Ah, right there. Move the box out of the way. Let's see if the camera will focus. Not that close. Further away, further away, further away. Anyway, right there is our SIM card slot, and I would imagine we'll have a SIM card remover. The nice thing about this phone, it does come with a SIM for Sprint, and it's easily unlocked, so as you're traveling internationally, or after you pay off your lease and want to move to a different carrier, it is possible. We'll peel off our plastic cover here, revealing a glossy, shatterproof, by claim, 5.5 inch screen. Let's go back to what's in the box. Hello Moto. We open the box. It has a box. And inside the box we have an envelope style opening with our fine manual that we'll read eventually and our SIM removal tool. So what's the first thing we've got to do? Of course, take it apart. Nothing in there other than a barcode, so we can ignore that. So we take our SIM removal tool 
and let's check out the SIM card tray. Let's see if we can do this on camera without breaking anything. We push the SIM removal tool into the SIM card tray and nothing happens because it's not long enough. So we remove the SIM removal tool from the card, place it firmly, and it does pop it open just enough to get a fingernail on it, and it supports a SIM and an SD card. So if the 64 gig of RAM is not enough, you can throw a 128 gig SD card in there for your movies, music, and more. So you can really, really max this phone out. This is a top-of-the-line phone from Motorola. To change the SIM out, you've got a spring-loaded widget right here. Click and pop the SIM out and clack. We'll put the SIM tray back, since I don't happen to have a 128 gig card uh, to throw in there today. And reinserting the SIM card appears to be marginally difficult. Unless I have it upside down. Yes, I have it upside down. It apparently is keyed to only go in one way. Or I'm a klutz. Yay, verily. Klutz. We're going to hit pause. And after a bit of fiddling off camera, we've been able to, we've been able to slide the SIM card tray in, as I noted, keyed to where the SIM faces down, push, and lock. The sides of the phone are metal with plastic spacers for the antennas. Get this cruft out of the way so it doesn't try and focus on it. So we have our antennas, our Moto Mods connector, and our phone. Continuing in the box, standard accessories, a turbo power charger and micro C USB cable. Um, a micro C, oh, this is one of those phones. Check it out, no headphone jack. So, you get a micro C to headphone jack connector. That's impressive. So it's kind of like the, uh, and it has a little grabby bit so you can clip it onto something. That'll be handy to keep. So if you want to listen via three and a half millimeter headphones or plug it into the aux jack in your car, you'll need the micro C to three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Comes with a cable for micro C USB and the turbo power charger. The turbo power charger gives it a fast recharge. I'm not quite sure which standard it's running on. According to the fine print on the very bottom of the charger, it claims to put out 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 1.6 amps, or 12 volts at 1.2 amps. So it will charge your phone in a hurry. Uh, we'll find out once we power it up just how quickly it does charge from a dead battery to usable probably 20 or 30 minutes. So that's the Moto Z2 Force unboxed from Sprint. This is Will England with the Sprint Product Ambassadors signing off.